welcome everybody. It is so friggin warm today. 33 degrees Celsius and that's just too much for my feeble brain to take but we will do magic tonight and I hope you guys are feeling fine. I'm feeling fine-ish I'd say. Hi Hjorin, yeah sorry for keeping you waiting. I'm a little bit slow with these temperatures. I, I noticed that everything takes at least 10 to 15 minutes longer than I'm used to. Don't know. Forget a lot of things. It's really not cool. <laughs> Quite literal. And therefore I felt like a volcano school would be just the fitting thing for tonight. If I selected a volcano. I hope I selected a volcano. Yes, I selected a volcano. So we're going to build or school here. Let's see. I started with the backgrounds for a demonic chamber and a refactor ex and nothing else. Okay. So the specialty about this place is that we have the sealed off area here or well split off rather and we do suffer from fires more often. Which is going to be a quite a pain, but you know, what can we do? So let's build ourselves some beginner school beginner thingies and mediocre teachers. Ex Inquisitor. I'm going to pick this guy because he's uh, giving me free reputation for the Inquisition. Although I find it quite funny to have a demonology teacher who's an ex Inquisitor. So, do we want to bring up our houses? Not yet. Mm, private bedroom. Weapons and shield. Nah. Let's pick the private bedroom. Quite an unlucky draft to begin with. Hey, Rajul, welcome. Nice to see you. Private apartments for the teachers. Yeah, not bad. Coffee machine. Can it be bad? Oh, yeah, that's good. That's really good. Gold generator quite in the, just at the beginning of the game. Been a while since you played the game. Uh, it's the first time, well, that's the first time, but I haven't played it during early access. So I'm going to bring up a house and hope that I can. Oh, Shadow Disciples, wonderful. We have a Shadow Magic room, so it's going to be quite good. Passionate and popular. Oh yeah, double prestige gains and losses. So we're going to favor shadow magic, but we're not going to exclude any magics yet. I can do that later if I want to. Come on, something darker. Seriously? Okay, I need to. I need to do that myself then. Want some idea what I found works well? Not as of yet. I still want to experiment around with that. I'm not at the point where I need external input. <laughs> Nothing does, it's all pain. <laughs> okay, we have a house here. So this is going to be my shadow house. I I'm going to leave the uh, this card open for until I have more houses or more schools yet. So Arcane Scholar and Chosen by the Light. What a wow, brilliant sc uh, scholar, uh, student even. Alchemy Apprentice, also brilliant, and a Steadfast Goth, well, whatever. For now, I'm just going to bring the Shadow People into this house. Unbreakable. Not going to turn down any of these, they are all quite good. Okay, let's wait for a moment. Well, teachers, no. So guys, where are you? Ah, here they go. This is still my experimentation campaign run, where I don't really try too hard in any direction. I'm still at the exploration phase. That's why I don't want to have too many, well, influences at this point. And there's already the first fire. Wow. The volcano certainly lives up to its name. Okay, more applications. Arcane Scholar and Child of Nature and a Worker. Wow, really good students. 
By the way, I found out that you can remove placed artifacts. Yes, yes, I noticed that too. That's friendly of you, Rizul. I wish more people would be uh, would be thinking like you. Courage is and worker. Well, chosen by the light. None fit into our house, so that's not a problem. The, f the farmers. Nature mana. Free nature mana. I like that. So, oh my god. This is such a hard decision. The pig chamber is among the best buildings i found out so far. Hey, sir, no, welcome. Because the more communication you have with the outside world, the more you can stall the Lord of Evil. But I'm going to pick the Dolmen first because, you know, this way I can create more chances for the piggy room. Mm, a good teacher versus an ex-adventurer teacher. Actually, I'm going to take the ex-adventurer teacher for the standing gains. I really like that one. So, the king has a room for me. Enchantment Workshop Assassin's Arena. Janitor. Well, no. Let's pick the enchantment class. What will I do with this place? This is going to be such a hard decision for me. Ancient Wisdom. Learn faster in general. Inspiring. Unbreakable. Mm. Picking this one here. So, oh, a new house card. Let's take that. These are quite rare. So, what do we have now? Arcane Scholars and Alchemy Apprentices. Sure, why not? I mean, I don't have an Arcane School as of yet. An Arcane Room as of yet, but we'll be getting there. Beautiful. Oh, no. I like those. And the third house card, I want to save that up for later. Hello, adventurers. So, you guys can give me arcane mana. We blow up things. And there's the elementalist dojo. Little tricks I've learned on my paths. So we, of course, take the excellent teacher. I really like the young female teacher because they can remove it. Yeah, negative trade removals. I still haven't found out what's more important. Speeding up the learning of your students or focusing on polishing their traits. I mean, both of them are pretty good. By specialization and by year. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the amount of years. Well, I haven't really... sorted my students around the years. So far I just prefer to pick up as many people as possible with a higher amount of years, but there's a lot of things you can do with this game. So the dwarves, hi there friends. So this is a curriculum task that I can't avoid. Cool. I like the the ones where we have to just build relations. So, Steadfast Alchemy Apprentice, chosen by the light, well, whatever, that's voracious, very, very hungry. Ah, uh, well, well, whatever. You're hungry too. I don't care. Evil Banner, Necrostaff, Prison, well, I'm going to take the Evil Banner. I like these uh, reputation gainer gain thingies. So we're going to let's check out the dwarves. I'm pretty sure I can't do anything for here for them here. So we can't ask for money or yeah, one point of reputation. I think it was Joe Cerno. So, Alchemy and Arcane Mana are needed for 15 points, and Shadow and Light are needed for another 15 points. We gain Prestige with that one, and we gain nothing with the other one. Give me some gold, chaps. Hi, Pop! Welcome! You're gonna go thank him? Yeah. Joe is such an awesome person. 
And yet there, there's another fire. My god. So, do janitors put out fires too? I wonder what I can do to get this uh, under control more often. A bit slow, but five years of studentship. That's okay. Oh, I can't take any options of that one. Too bad. So, can a teacher finally get this done, please? Janitors only clean teachers. So, <laughs> thank you, uh, Pop. I'm still working on making these audible somehow, but I, I didn't find an option yet. It's a bit, a bit weird because the cheers are configured, but it's just not working yet. But well, just wanted to let you know. So here we go, yet another pig chamber, but oh, if I can't have a greenhouse, I want to have a greenhouse. Oh, I won't do that. This would be very, very stupid of me. Wait a sec, why? So the greenhouse needs a connection on the same floor. So we're going to put up a teacher's bedroom over here. So the greenhouse can be connected to that. Inspiring. Under the king's protection. Wonderful. Well, I was hoping that there was yet another thing I can do except for the void potion. The void potion is the only thing that comes up pops up in my mind here. So we'll have to look for ingredients. It's the only thing that I can think of now. A brilliant check of all trades. Wonderful. A spell book for 100 gold. Yes, I'll take it rather than that. Wow, these events can be really harsh. So, small chance of gaining a specialization from a random school of magic. Let's put that into the refectory. There we go. Yeah, so the volcano will just stall me. For whether I want it or not. Removing negative traits of students and building prisons reduces them by a lot, though. Well, here in the volcano, it's the map. The map produces fires on its own. That's why I'm asking. You can't turn them off here, truly. Runes and temporal magic. Demonology and portal magic. Assassination. Well... I like the assassin type here. I don't have an assassination room yet, though. Let's try that. A dozen assassins, it'll be. Well, for this run, this is the fourth map I'm playing on this one, so... We already have quite some preparations there. I'm trying to restore the Roman Empire right now for a CK2 achievement. Nice. Good luck, Cerno. Indeed. So, we're going to have a chat with the orcs. So, well... Well, 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 well. Let's put them up. Uh, let's uh, trade a little bit like that. Popular, well-behaved worker. Okay. So, we're going to put up a couple of these people here. Arcane Scholar, yes. And we're going to configure this house now to have only black magic students. There we go. This should help somewhat. The Archmage quest. Well, well, no, I want an easier one. You know, Archmages are pretty... Gaining some sort of mana is way easier. You can offer alchemy mana to orcs. Yes, yes. We need a lot of things first, but I want to have a positive uh, relationship with them. It depends on the event you get there, though. It's not always the same, sadly. Rune Scriptorium. Yes, please. Well, I want to put 
that oh this is another one that has no connectors to the top side let's put it there then Ooh, excellent teacher demanding and a procrastinator well archmages are a bit late game well I managed to get a few I mean let's check out how many archmages did my school already have let's check that out I wish there would be a search option here that would be really cool I already had one hallucinogenic plant gardener they were that's what what's a quite good giggle so let's see carnivorous plants gardener was also quite fun inquisition blacksmith they amused me quite a lot too so where's my archmage they are really cool we have three yes so far here gains mana gains are increased by one percent sorted by power well definitely not sorted by power because the imp is not <laughs> a high power one I'm not sure what the sorting logic behind that actually is dead <laughs> well okay small stone troll oh we have we get trophies from these i see main menu stats i think there yeah they are sorted okay here we go school specialty that's what i wanted to see so we're going to go for alchemy i already have a couple of alchemy rooms and let's see this school can go for arcana and alchemy more exclusively let's put up the third house let's see what we can here have here popular and athletic well since i want to use this one as my dump stat pile basically we're going to yeah popular and athletic they're going to replace the general classes let's give them brown coats Ulagazak. so here we go smart and well behaved of course we have scholarships that's good my prestige is rather low can use some of these cards there that helps a ton chosen by the light I don't have any light school things here allergic to crustaceans oh no shadow disciple there we go buddy down to earth arcane magic slower okay so I started to only turn down students that are actually dumb everything else i just pick up and try to make them happy somehow so let's put up a private bedroom over here probably gonna help another way I, that i found to get all types of magic fairly easy well i discovered for myself that the beginning decisions from the you can buy, buy basic classrooms. Oh yeah, the merchants. Yes. And the beginning NPC encounters give you a, quite a lot of uh, diverse options too. Oh, a light room. We don't have that yet. Let's build ourselves a Sunday school. So here we go. Chaotic evil. I like that. The light room's teacher is a chaotic evil one. Hourglass, Temporal Magic, Elementalism, Speed of All Activities, but also Need Growth Rate. Ah, well, let's take the Temporal Magic buffs. I don't mind them. So, we can't really befriend the dwarves right now, so let's stick with the orcs. Party time! Plus 20, I like that one. Oh no, I don't have the necessary money. And there's more fires. There's so many fires in this school. Oh no. Uh, well, I'm, I'm holding back the new students card right now because I feel like I have more students than this place can handle right now. Maybe I'm wrong, but yeah, it looks like there's a lot. I want to have an infirmary quite soon. 
but I'm, I'm really hooked up with this game. I'm really, really hooked up by this game. I'm, I'm basically trying to learn now. Oh, 200 gold. Yes, 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 yes. Screw the uh, solstice party. We take the money. I'm basically preparing myself now to, for the challenge modes. I'm really inspired to go for them. But first I want to complete at least the normal campaign, but you get the idea. Tentacle. Mm -mm. Grotesque statuette. Oh yeah, please. Deep folk are so good. Righteous cloister. Heroes chapel trophy room. Well, well. Let's go for that one. One thing that I want to do when I have more control over the game is to try to allocate my magic schools more in a in corners like like, like alchemy and that wing light and that wing to make it better, working better for the the students. Right now, my building style is still all over the place, and I don't think that this is really truly the best way of doing it. But what can I do? I'm just a messy person like that, and I think. For, for learning issues, oh, ex Inquisitor, it's always good to just do your mistakes as they flow from your fingers because that's why I learned the most in life. Not by trying to do everything perfect from the get go. So, we're betting on the Orc Chief's weak nephew, of course, because that's making you friends. Mm, another spell book. I like that. So, I want to put that into the restroom, because there's where students are uh, living up here. Joe, hi there, welcome. Nice to see you, mate. It's so f so nice to see you all there, and uh, really happy that you all tuned in tonight again. So, here we go. Ex-Adventurer. That's good. Goonie pig. Oh yeah, I'd like to have that one. Just chilling. Yeah, I wish I could chill. It's so friggin' warm. <laughs> and the literal way. And you know, we had like 33 degree today during the daytime. It's just uh, insane. So we're slowly making progress here. All the magic schools are filling up. Just a little bit concerned about my building. Inter interdimensional room. Sign of the eldest. Well, oh, this is so good, but I don't have these schools yet, so let's just go for the portal magic room, shall we? Goonie pig is really good for diplomacy. Yes, yes. I want the pig room as uh, quick as possible too. So we're going to pay the taxes. If I can pay them right now, it's pretty good. So we have to bring up arcane mana. I think the guild was arcane mana focused. Yes, the adventurer's guild. So, oh yeah, we're not making friends with the Lord of Evil here. Assassin room. Oh man. Prison. Crypt. We're going to bring up crypt here. Excellent teacher for necromancy. Wonderful. Chamber of Truth or Hero's Chapel. Well, going to take the one with the animal slot first. Wait a sec. This one can't be stacked on top of these. Dang. So, observatory. Oh no, I didn't want to pick that. No. Oh, well, whatever. Misclick. I don't want to keep it right now. And I'll rather have a quicker reroll on that. So, the pick chamber. Hmm. The pick chamber is really nasty because it will lo seal off a wing of my school pretty uh, pretty heavily let's let's put it down there can we put the hero's chapel there no seems to be blocked by this room there started pouring again now the pig shooter yeah this is such a good room though our first 
our first graduates. Ritual, ritual master, gardener. Well, I'll keep that. Peasant, please no. Ritual master is better. Adventurer. Well, I can take the gold. I can use the gold. Hmm. Well, I'll take the alchemy mana. No peasants, please. Wonderful. So adventurers really are good because they they give you that kickstart. Dormitory. I really would want wanted another one of those. But uh, seriously, did I just mess myself completely up with these rooms? Can't we add anything on top of these anymore? Did I kill the progression of this one? I can't imagine. We had a storm for like five minutes. Ah, uh, dang. Yeah, the weather is pretty messed up at this uh, rate nowadays. Oh yeah, expedition. I never had a positive outcome, but I really want to try. So... I don't want the weapon sh and shield. Hi, Wiggly! Thanks, oh, thanks for stopping by. My brain is brain is overheated today. Alchemy Apprentice, chosen by the light. Oh my god, this is so good. All these uh, traits I earned are really racking up by now. Adventurers pay my bills. They aren't special, but it's an honorable role. Well, gotta say, the extra gold is quite useful. Not gonna lie. Counselor's office. So... There's a room which has definitely a connection upwards, so that should work out again. Appropriate ex-inquisitor or ex-adventurer. Uh, I'll take the better one then. Ah, now we have it done. Okay, good. We needed that connector. Um, yeah, more ex-adventurers. Let's put the dormitory right next to that one. I really like to have sleeping rooms spread over the campus to make sure that the students can fulfill their needs. So I have my first Deep Folk. Deep Folk are really cool because they're when they graduate, their prestige is paid as a pushback towards the Lord of Evil's progress. And that's why I wanted a popular house, because it doubles the prestige gain, and basically this way you can double the pushback. So, if a Deep Folk gets a graduation which is worth 2 prestige, in a popular house I'll gain 4% pushback just by its graduation. That's awesome. That's why I like Deep Folk so much. Really bring cool stuff up there. So, popular and well-behaved, yeah, why not? Mm, I'll rather take the kingdom benefits over the spellbook because I already have a lot of them. So we have You're that extra welcome. arcane mana, and well, thanks for the follow, Astarun. Welcome in the chat. God, talking is so hard today, I don't know. I, I begin a sentence and then I can only think about how warm it is and and the sentence glitches away. It's amazing. Deep folk minstrel minstrels. I love deep folk. Yeah, the Assassin's Arena, finally. It's the Tower of Evil over there. Hmm, there we go. So I don't want the observatory, don't want to make that mistake twice. So potion workshop, it's the first uh, schoolroom upgrades. Awesome. There we go. It's hot, it's Friday, valid reasons to have difficulty speaking. <laughs> true that, true that. Okay. So, chosen by the light, ambitious worker, oh man. Really brought up a lot of really good traits now. That's by now, I have so many people that had giving me here, let's see, I had 53 village mage by this point. Here we have a 27% chance to spawn the worker trait on every student. It's really noticeable at some point. I love it how, how it, you really feel the progression over the time. It's really cool. It's one of the things I really enjoy about this game a ton. The graduates of your school form your run so much. 
It's one of the best games in this uh, department I ever played. So you guys are moping about the Adventurers Guild, a firestorm. For both of you. I like the prestige gain on that one. They both hate me for that, but... Huh. Fall Season Shoulder Pads versus Pick Chamber Upgrade. I'll take the Pick Chamber Upgrade. I'm quite greedy for the Pick Chamber Upgrades, because the more efficiency this room has, the more guinea pigs get fired up, and the more guinea pigs get fired up, the more communications to the outside world we have. I really discovered how important these outside world communications are. X Inquisitor, there we go. How are the curses stacking up? Um, let's check it out. So I got incompetent teachers and I got extra enemies and I got poor students. I really felt like the teacher teachers are worse thing was really nicely counteracted by one of my graduate types. There's one graduate type which gives you a chance that teachers are on average just better teachers. I don't know which one that was, but I know that I stacked that up quite nicely as well. Let's uh, see... Here! <laughs> right in. So here I have a 22% chance that they are better educators, and I felt like that was a pretty good synergy to that curse. That's why I like to pick that curse. So, let's make friends with the peasants. I don't have net 25 nature mana. Oh my god. I shouldn't. Uh... Okay, let's pay more attention this time. So, karmic healer. Better infirmaries. Yeah, why not? Village mage. I'd like to avoid that. Rather take the adventurer. Altar child. Well, the options here are not that good either. Peasant. Certainly don't want to take the peasant, so... I'm okay with that. So, Courage is Unbreakable. You're going to Ulagazak. Allergic to Pollen. Child of Nature and Chosen by the Light. Well, that's okay. So, what do we have here? A Nature Room versus Private Apartments. I really want that pri those Private Apartments for the tower here. This fits so good into this corner here and will give my teacher some relief. What I really would like to have help with, if anybody wants to help me with, is how am I... how is the correct ratio to dormitories, refectories and teachers rooms and all these things because I really struggle with how many of these I really need. That's something where, where I really would like to have some advice. That's pointed towards your usual. Deep Folk. Ah, well, I'm going to put all the Deep Folk into the popular house. I really want to. Even if they have fitting traits for a very Zier house. So... I really need to put up a, a few more good students into the Shadow House soon. New Deep Folk. Magical Theory Doctorate. Large quantities of Discipline's Mana. Well... Well... More Deep Folk? I want more Deep Folk. They're just so good. It's actually fairly straightforward. Check why people are going to the village. No. Yeah, sure. I know how that works, but... Like... As a rule of thumb, you know, if I have 20 students, how many bedrooms do they need? That's more like the question. Where I'm really struggling to wrap my head around. So, well, I'm going to put them all into the popular house. Because I already know about the filters and all, and that I, that I can actually check that. But, you know, overfulfilling the needs is not cool either, and I tend to overfulfill. My longer runs, I typically end up with a three of the four of the dorms and refectories. Ideally, with more rooms against boredom. Okay. Thanks, Joran. So, uh, we don't have prisons or chains. 
course my school has no discipline. Oopsie. Cleanliness filter. Let's let's rather not talk about that. Boredom was the major issue for my runs. I see. Thanks. Really uh, didn't pay too much attention for that. I just know that I grab as many of these general satisfaction rooms as possible. Oh yeah, I need the janitor lodge. At least one janitor. What happens? Thanks for the subscription, Mads Held. Awesome to have you around here. So, I wonder why that's not getting uh, shown in the chat, but whatever. Thank you so much, mate. So, well behaved light sleeper, brilliant. That's going to be one of the people I'm sending into the Shadow House because we need those assassins. Like, for real. And I need to put up some students into my alchemy house as well. These are amounts are for a school with 60 students at a time, yeah. That's where I'm running at lately as well, so. Ooh, ooh, dungeon versus. I'll take the rooms because I don't want to have the prestige blow here, and honestly, the private bedrooms and another refectory in this section here and the students hall that's just so ideal this uh, tops off this area so now i can build up in this uh, wing first one i'm always renovating well it depends it really depends on how much gold i have and you know arcane scholar there we go that's what i wanted to see oh i can get a free bed i can get an animal or a private bedroom. I want the bed. I love beds. Another canopy bed. Yes, let's do that. Canopy beds are pretty cool. Extra gold and more effective beds. So, temporal room. Yes, please. So, appropriate teachers. Well, let's take the light sleeper, I'd say. Library, runestone, rune scriptorium. Well, I don't want to pick up the library right now. Let's pick up the rune scriptorium and upgrade it. Oh, let's finally play those new students. Shadow Disciple and Arcane Scholar. Well, that's a hard one, hard choice, but I'm going to take this one first. So, we're going to put a few people more into House Verizir. Shadow Disciple, wonderful. A werewolf, a brilliant werewolf. Arcane Scholar, wonderful. So, the peasants. Oh, wait a sec. Do we have the 25 mana this time? I don't want to. I mean, it's silly, but... Here we go. It's quite sad to lose that. Uh... Yeah, well, that's a, that's a solid uh, statement, Jorin. But I feel like I'm not there yet. The last magic of last level of magic, I'm pretty sure my school can't really reach that as of yet with any students. So unicorn handler, hmm. we're getting somewhere. I'll accept that fate. Innkeeper. Well, there's so many. Let's reroll. Ghoul. Okay. No claustrophobia. Sandman. I really wish that on this screen there's one information missing, and that's how many of these graduations you already have. Because this would be a really vital thing for me to decide if I reroll that or if I keep that. Because I'd really like to know if I have already a lot of Sandmans or not, for example. Just my thoughts. How, you, how do you guys see that? Librarian! Can't have too many librarians. Well, more than 100 are bad, but... Craftsman. Well, why not? One more Unicorn Handler. Well... Shepherd. I'll take that too. Warlock. Oh yeah. 
like that. So, clan banner. Oh, yeah. Passive reputation gains are the best. Hero's Chapel, Large Phoenix, Celestial Fireflies. Nah. Rather upgrade what I have. So, oh. Tax Man. The Tax Man. Oh yeah, another deep, uh, deep folk. Brilliant student, shadow disciple, wonderful. So let's just hope that I can't get myself some assassins here. Demonic horns, pentacle, marsh vulture. Let's take the demonic horns. I like artifacts. Okay. Another guinea pig is ready. So let's see. I already have 26 positive with the Lord of Evil. Wow. Nice. Let's upgrade our Inquisition standing. Oh no, I need I need to do that next time when I have enough shadow mana. Things that I need to improve on. Elementalist Dojo. Boom. Dark Lord is already halfway there. Well, not really, since we will push him back several times. Flower Crown. Ah, let's take that one. Arcane Scholar. Yes, please. More fires. Man, these fires are really annoying. So, we're going to get a pet for the school. Let's talk, take the fawn for this wing of the school. There's going to be a lot of uh, deep folk graduating soon, and let's see how the how the Dark Lord's progress looks like after that. Child of nature, well behaved, smart. Let's take that one. So, do I have one hundred mana? Okay, I do. So we could receive two hundred light mana, but no. I want to trade my shadow mana for standing and then we should finally start to trade with the dwarves but that's going to be quite a late game thing they need 500 uh, mana from every type so that's really brutal so allergic to pollen that was nature magic not a problem here so craftsman well, okay Village Guardian. Nah. Priest. It's at least better. Warlock! Warlock! Altered Child. Ooh. Turned into a peasant. Minion. Well, let's re reroll that. Ooh, the Squire is not really better than that. Librarian. I'll rather have the Golem Manufacturer. Golem Manufacturers are so cool. The unfinished Golems are good, and the extra gold is good too. The Minstrel. Oh boy. Cool. That's a lot of prestige. This one kid didn't get any prestige. No! What a letdown. So, Lycanthropes, or. Well, let's take the Lycanthropes. Golems just lower the upkeep of your school. That's that. Prison, demon chamber. I want a prison. Light magic. A medical bed. Oh yeah. The staff refectory is pretty cool too, but I want more gold. So we're going to put that up. 
And no second thoughts. We upgrade that one. Shadow room, psychologist, nature room. Let's pick the shadow room. Although it was a little bit of a difficult decision to to not pick up a dragon. I like dragons. They're pretty useful. Good companions. So we're going to upgrade the Elementalist Dojo. So the next guinea pig is ready. Oh, and I get a uh, Bright Staff Refectory right away. So now we have a room for the teachers on this side as well. That was important for me. So 500 mana of different types, not happening right now. Well, let's grind up the other factions standing then. Shadow Disciple, you go for Alvacon. Deep Folk. So we'll have to fill the Alchemy House a little bit better here. I know that was a Deep Folk, but... There we go. Oh, I have more werewolves available. So, Arcane, Steadfast, Jack of all trades. Well, let's put him there too. Alchemy Apprentice, Courageous Worker, Well Behaved Worker, Ambitious, Alchemy Apprentice, Brilliant, Chosen by the Light. Well, a teacher's lounge, a new house. Well, let's bring up the teacher's lounge here. So, rest. Yeah. Here we go. A library card, increasing the efficiency of these rooms. Let's put that into the assassination room because I feel like we need that. Blue Dragon of Alchemy. Yes, please. Wow, that's a lot of traits. Arcane Scholar. Okay, we're, we're slowly taking off here. Archangel Wings. Mm, Pegasus. Pia. I want the Archangel Wings. I want the armillary sphere because you can use that item for a for a certain event, which is around the Dark Lord. It's quite cool if you have it. Let's check out the orcs one more time. Well, I want that orc hound. Orc hounds are cool. So, Wild Breastplate. They now gain one reputation point with the orcs each time they gain a Shadow Magic level. Yeah, why not? It's a little bit of an odd way of uh, grinding up the faction standings. Oh, Elves! Okay. So, a Gazebo. Well... No, I want to upgrade my counselor's office. No, dear peasants, I didn't steal your cow. Christ's sake. So... Let's take the repentant bed. As cool as elves are. So. Brilliant students. Deep folk go over here. So what do we have here? A corrupted pyromancer. I never had one of those. So we have that due to Elementalism 4 and Demonology 3. Okay. I like that. Squire. Don't like that too much. Midwife. Well, 
bigger student groups. I mean, what's not to like about that? Conscripted mage, more of those. Well, here we go. Demon hunter, retribution and demonology. Ah, come on, something with prestige. Good stuff. Prestigious, good stuff. Ritual Priest, I'll take that. Clockwinder, okay. So we should have actually lost something on that bar here, if it worked out as it was promised. Another student's hall, so we have one there, we have one there. We need one there too. I haven't filled any of my curriculum goals so far. Not cool. So, I can't, uh, I can't put that on hold. So, I want to bring up the interdimensional archives. So... Okay. Can't really do anything for the dwarves here, sadly. I feel like I'm going to mess up this uh, map pretty hard, but that's okay. Let's upgrade our dolmen room. Alright, now we can pick up a dungeon entry here. Library, well, let's pick up the library after all. It is a quite useful thing. So... I need either Alchemy and Arcane or Shadow and Light. So what do we have here? Another subscription. Should I misclicked? Well, okay. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. <laughs> and welcome to the subscriptions. So we're going to nip some money from these dudes. Passionate worker. Well, sure, why not? No trade. Okay, Mr. No Trades. We called him Blank Slate. I have a lot of applicants at this point, gotta say. So, well, Alchemy Apprentice. Beautiful. A beautiful deep folk. So, what do we have here? Lightroom, Sacred Halo. Oh yeah, I want the Sacred Halo. That's pretty cool. Okay, let's go Dungeoneering. Let's see what we can do here. So, what do we have here? We have def Destructive Stuff, we have Paralysis. So we're going to put up one of these and one of those, because the herbalism makes up nice combos. We're going to pick up this guy, because Life Drain is an awesome spell. And, well... Let's bring up the werewolf here too. Let's see how that will work out. So, a troll. We gain prestige. Well, why not? Let's see how well this will work out. So, bark skin, two armor points at the beginning of combat. So these two guys are just racking up defenses. Cultists bringing me lots of bonuses here. Let's do that. Well, that setup wasn't too smart. I shouldn't have brought two times Protector of Rituals. But then on the other side, I'm really, really tanky due to that. So, an altar. We can draw a Crypt card. Skill. Well, let's go for it just for the Crypt card. 
There we go. Quite a defensive build, but it's working out better than I thought. So, gold, crypt, and chatter room, or bonus inquisition standing. Well, I'll take the crypt and the shadow room. Yeah, so the shields on my dudes are holding out really nicely. And another troll. We just get prestige for that, why not? Okay, let's see. Increased threat by 8. We're going to go back now. Usually things go bad from here. So, psychologist. No, no, we're just going to upgrade the Shadow Room. And... Collection of Crystal Slow Globes. Okay. Private apartments. So, we have one here, one there. Let's put up one more there. We've got a lot of teachers. Sacrifice? What? So, let's pick up the demonic horns at the second time. Double damage in combat sounds really nice. Still wonder why my alchemy is uh, growing so bad. Guess I don't have enough rooms for alchemy and gimped myself with that. I quite often end up with a certain school not being visited well enough. So we gained free crypt cards and a free shadow room upgrade. There we go. Guinea pigs! So let's visit the king this time and let him uh, fight back the Lord of Evil. So, another righteous cloister. Why not? Efficiency is good. So, well... Let's tank the peasants. Faction standing and one more time. A stable upgrade, please. Another janitor lodge. Yes, please. One for that wing over here, too. So, Alchemy Apprentice, Courageous Shadow Disciple, Child of Nature, Chosen by the Light, okay. So, we're going to bring up another Teacher's Launch, because we only have one of those yet. So, let's bring that up here. Hmm. I ended up with almost not using the alchemy ingredients lately a lot because I don't know for some reason they they don't uh, they don't feel too good for me. An infirmary, oh man, that's good. We'll put that over here on top of the world. Passionate worker, deep folk. Chosen by the Light, Jack of All Trades, well... Portal Master, well... Why not? Karmic Healer, Village Mage, well, we can't do better than that, at least an adventure. Warlock! Perfumer, well... So, let's wait until my light and shadow magic are at 500, so we can start at least grinding up the standing of the dwarf faction slowly. So...
gift? What's a gift? Play this card to obtain. I never had that. Okay, cool stuff. Let's upgrade the temporal room. I almost never see people in the Assassin's Arena here, so... Another subscription? Thanks, Kevin B. Like, what's happening tonight? <laughs> so many subscriptions that get, don't get shown properly in the in the register down there, but well... I'm weirded out here. So, what do we have here? Orphan worker, brilliant student though, so Shadow Disciple as yes, please. Chamber of Truth. Well, at least the alchemy mana is starting to flow by now. Blue Dragon. We're going to pick up another one. This might help me with the curriculum goal here. Child of Nature. Jack of all trades, worker, and chosen by the light. So many basic bonuses there. Zeus is lurking around here. <laughs> Better beds. I can't get another canopy bed? Crazy. I think I never had that many in one run before. So, the Dwarves event is up again, so let's save up the mana we need. Namely, the Light and the Shadow mana. Dolmen upgrade, why not? Counselor's office. Well, yes please. And we can go to the Dwarves. I should consider Alchemy and Arcane, but, well, not yet. Popular and well-behaved, brilliant students, well. Another canopy bed, no, we're going to pick up an alchemy room for good. So, let's keep going. So I feel like we're we're on a good way to reach at least two of the curriculum goals. The assassins. I always feel like the career goals are for me among the most hardest. I don't know how you guys see that. Another private apartment. Making the teachers happy. So there we go. More people for Ula Gazak. Hero. Well, Let's reroll that. Librarian, I prefer that. So we're not going to reroll the Deep Folk though. If they gain prestige, they gain prestige. Uh, I'm going to keep it like that. So, oh man. Librarians. Cartographer. Well, not too exciting, but whatever. Another Sacred Halo. Hunger grows slower. That's actually really good. Oh yeah, another Assassin's Arena. You know what? We're going to put up a second one. Just to make it more attractive to, for my students to learn that. A gazebo. So, let's see. The last school. I... Again, I don't have a slot to build there. Dang. So that thing. I always struggle with building these. So we are actually able to pick the the one with extra prestige points this one this time. All right, so you know, have fun and thanks for hanging around again. So an orc, Jim Parkov, average dude. Oh man, there's uh, the peasants again. So, fertility potions they want. Well, we're going to go for the massage technique. It's cheaper, you know. 
So demonic chambers, well... Upgrade please! <coughs> oh, hello voice! So, arcane room, why not? Chosen by the light, gourmet worker. Window to another world. Well, let's pick that up. Why not? I like those passive increasers a lot. So, guinea pig is ready. I have light and shadow mana. So, we're really on a good way to get that job done with the dwarves. Don't like the Lord of Evil's progression here, but we can have everything at once. So, well... Oh, there's one thing I just noticed that I can do. I can actually... No, that's not what I wanted. Whoa. Classes and students. Ula Gazak can have a little bit of a preference on the arcane, on arcane schools. That would help, actually. So... Let's upgrade the infirmary. Oh yeah, another refectory. So I got two of them as of yet. Let's build up a third one. I feel like three refectories should be totally fine for the size of my school at this point. So let's see, I have the mana and the guinea pig is almost loaded. So we'll have to do this only one more time and then we're done So Finally. So, Verizir people. Well, no. Clockwinder, arcane mana. Well, okay. Vigilante. This is a pretty large... Uh, a midwife werewolf. Oh. Elementalist. Oh, I like that. Yet another adventurer. Stonecutter. Librarian versus hero. Necromancer versus Lich. Lich is better because it increases my necromancy learning rate in general. Also has more prestige. Karmic healer. Well, well, clockmaker. Mm, I consider that a downgrade. Assassin! I have my first assassin of 12. Librarian versus Squire, that was definitely a downgrade. Minion, whatever. With a Deep Folk, I don't want to have a reroll. Imp. Why not? Always surprised that people can turn into imps, but whatever. Village Banner, that's what I like. I keep disgruntling the villagers that much. Black dragons, why not? Well, let's hire the fairy dragon too. Trophy room, well, no. Not for this run. Pick chamber upgrade, no second thoughts. Okay, there we go. More students, Shadow Disciple, Deep Folk. So by now I don't have any, I haven't seen any dumb students in a while. It's really cool. So we're going to finish now the Dwarf Quest. So, the old alliance, we did it. So, another janitor lodge, well, just use that to upgrade now. So we're only halfway there with the alchemy mana, and there's only so little time. So, well, let's pick up a new refectory. 
and start upgrading these. Yeah, but upgrading them is a pretty nice way of making them more efficient, you know. So, Assassin's Arena. Oh, a vampire. They have to go into that room, uh, into that house from the get-go. So... I like upgraded refectories when I'm later down the road. So, speaking about later down the road, now we're going to use the King's influence to fight back the Lord of Evil a little bit more. So, let's try the trophy room. Why not? Well, I feel like the trophy room has to be constructed or thought through before you actually start building or pretty soon after if you get my idea light sleeper deep folk deep folk here we go 16 graduates okay amara never had that one before come on oh yeah corrupted pyromancer good job Leman Cthulonus, what a nice name. Cultist, oh yeah. Adventurer, village mage, what gives? All right. Mm, all right. It was a little bit of a gamble, but this guy had so many good opportunities. Oh, what's that? I haven't seen this aberration yet. Runes. Loses boredom, tiredness, and hunger half as fast. That's nasty. Use them as connecting points, the trophy rooms. That's true, that's true. I was kind of like avoiding them lately. But uh, you're right, I sh actually shouldn't do that. It's a fair thought you're having there. Oh, I have so many rerolls on that one. I'll keep that one. Youth potion, potion seller, why not? Karmic healer. Don't like the karmic healer that much, to be honest. Smuggler. Well, considering the bad choices here. Druid. I'll keep that. Squire. Amara. Stad. That's a tentacle. Loses sanity over time. Okay. So it's hard to tell how much pushback these uh, deep folk graduates had. Wild breastplate. Well, no. Learn all magic faster when they have elementalism and enchantment. That sounds pretty decent to me. Another student's hall. I'm going to start upgrading them now. And now we're using the king as often as we can. Another clan banner. Yes, please. Mm, infernal wings. Why not? Magical hat. Improved teachers. Well... Teacher's Lounge. That's where you've got to put these things. So, greatly injures all attackers, gain money. Well, what a useful... What a useful set of items. <coughs> so... All in one cauldron. Alembic. I see a pretty good chance that we're at least making a two-star ending here. I should have focused into the Shadow Magic School a little bit more thoroughly, I guess. To make the other thing happen. But, well, two stars are already nothing to spit at. 
another assassin's arena and well peasants vampires well let's put a couple of people into the uh, shadow house as well we can so we're not going to bother the king we're now going to bother the orcs because the orcs can do the pushback too for 40 standing though so they're a little bit more annoyed of me asking about that but a lot of shadow classrooms are in the back yeah although i wonder i mean there's everything in the back slot for the students to to be happy you know so they should be able to fulfill their their needs at the back slot except for the refectories oh uh, well okay the refectories never mind so okay this will definitely work 1000 mana should be no problem in the rest of the time so let's upgrade our janitors a bit found the specialization rooms Well, if you want to have specialists for the curriculum, though, it is a benefit. So, well, extra scholarships, let's do that. Seven year scholars at the end of the run. I love it. But that's okay, I guess. There should be still enough time left to do something with that. Inquisition banner, I like that. Are there any other factions that you can use against the Lord of Evil except for the King and the Orcs? The Adventurer's Guild, possibly? Does anybody know? Well, we're going to make friends with the King now one more time. We're going to pump up or things like that. Assassin! So what I did lately when I had a curriculum task like where I only needed one school, I didn't teach the other schools of that uh, branch at all. Like I only had that one particular school of magic to make sure that they definitely learned that. Portal Master sounds decent to me. Librarian, Stonecutter, come on. Scholar, wonderful. Protective Spirit. I'll take the gamble. Magic teacher. Well, why not? Grave digger. Warlock. I prefer that. They have a lot of art uh, aberrations. Found absolutely no use for the specializations. The speed gain. Though. Well. I don't uh, fully agree with that, because if you want to have certain fates, specialization is important. Like, the specializations are only really important to form these graduations. And the more control you take over that, the more specialized your uh, graduations can be. But if you want to have overall just high performance, you're absolutely right about that, of course. Smuggler. But for the really rare graduations, you need to specialize your people. It doesn't work otherwise, in my opinion. But I'm not that far down the road yet, so... Take my word with a salt and with a grain of salt. Minstrel. Oh, man. A deep one minstrel would have been so good. I really don't see the pushback of the uh, deep, uh, deep folk. Are they possibly bugged? <laughs> I wonder. So. Okay, we did two objectives. Found that just teaching them all the skills gives them the best careers at graduation. Well. Wow. 
I made my point there. Alchemy Apprentice. Let's take that. Oh, I put a vampire into the wrong house there. Evil Banner doesn't really use, uh, bring us anything here. But I'm totally okay with where things went now. Does anybody know if there's a limit for these classrooms, by the way? As in, does the amount of chairs in a classroom actually define how many students fit in there? I really wondered about that a lot. So we can go for another pushback via the king. But it's really the last one, I think. I didn't have enough... Uh... Oh, there's a portal in the pig chamber. I think all rooms can have a limit to how many people. Yeah, but there's, uh, there's sadly no number on that, and I was wondering. Goodbye, cruel world. Okay. Assassins. Well, let's see how many assassins we get at the end of the run. So I'll try to roll away the uninteresting things. Oh, another Inquisition Blacksmith. But Inquisition Blacksmiths have no permanent uh, bonuses. Assassins! Come on, don't be dead. Yeah, bigger classrooms fit more students, and the pushback is working fine. Okay. I had a hard time noticing it, but I also really think there could be just the percentage number in that bar. Like, 8 to 10 years? How many years did I have here? I had no... I didn't, uh... I didn't pay attention, honestly. Cultists. Wonderful. Perfumer. 12. Okay. Yeah, I feel like it's, uh, quite cool to try to push back the Lord of Evil's advance as much as possible. Minstrel. Well, quite useless at the end of the run. Ah, well, automated futures. We did it! Yeah! The l we <clears throat> cool. Three stars. Bang. Legendary spellbook. It's my second one for this run. So let's check out down here. So usually these are among, uh, down there are the rare ones, so let's see. Pack Leader, Elemental Summoner, Circus Handler, well. Well done, thank you, Hjorin. That's really nice of you to say. So we now have, yeah, I've finished the lake with three stars and the volcano. We have the cliffs, the clouds, or the desert, so. The forces of darkness close in faster. Large buildable area. Well, clouds. Message of guinea pigs load slower. Sphinx. Hunger and tiredness grow faster. So, where will we go tonight? Let's take the desert. Necronomicon increases the room's efficiency by 3% anytime there's an explosion or a portal opened by a student. <laughs> Rune scriptoriums increase the efficiency of rooms in the same row by 30%. Start each level with a rune scriptorium. 30%! Sick. The cost of cards increases half as fast as after a purchase. That's sick. That is absolutely insane. Rune scriptorium buff. It's the strongest buff. Well... I don't know. This also means that you will have buildings that you will have that you want to toss into your uh, school at all times, and that can be very annoying. This one is just flat out buffing stuff by giving me more cards. I'll take that one. Although I agree with that, this one is number wise a pretty fat bonus. That's pretty hard to to 
put off the hand there. The Necronomicon one is kind of quirky, but I really like this one because that means we're just going to have more cards at the end of the run. So, Sloth Curse, Sanity Curse, lowers all faction relationships by 20 for, uh, except for the Lord of Evil, whose relationship gains get 25%. <laughs> okay. Well, I'll take the Sloth Curse. So what do we have here? Through all the magical hat, bright staff refectory, alchemy mana boost hourglasses. Well, let's start with a nice fat amount of alchemy mana and see what we can do with that. So enchantment workshop, potion workshop, potion workshop. Infirmary. I already got so many good cards that I'm going to pick the Infirmary here. Because it's cool to have one. So, Teacher's Launch. Well, I'll take the new house over that. So let's start building first. Dormitory. Students Hall on top of that. Refectory right next to that. So, Enchantment Workshop. Appropriate. Ex Inquisitor, let's take that right away. And the Potion Workshop right next to that. Ancient Wisdom and Comical or Inspiring and Gourmet. I like the Inspiring trait more than the other guy. And the Infirmary goes on top of that. Although it costs me money. Ah, I shouldn't have built that at the beginning. Dang. You know. Increases the costs of my uh, of my whole school. So, let's see. I can have a jack of all trades house. Well, courageous worker like that. Unbreakable. Well, this is a good for dungeons. So. Let's take that as a generalistic house. I like that a lot. Although I'm... I'm going to go for the comical one. Because this is quite good when our students are unhappier here in general. So, chosen by the light gourmet. So we have a light affinity. Well. I don't like that too much. Let's take Chosen by the Light at least. And Diligent, why not? Sounds good to me. I want some alchemy uh, focused house, but it doesn't happen, huh? Learns all magic faster and generates more mana. Well, I want the specialists. So, we're going to have the well behaved trade. Bit of a boring combo of houses, but what can I do? So we have now Worker, that's the every uh, day, and we have Chosen by the Light and Arcanes. Okay, so does Worker and Worker stack with each other? <laughs> I wonder. I mean, this guy has exactly the same traits then as the house. Well, we're going to find out, I guess. So let's see, these guys train light and no shadow, and these guys train shadow and no light, there we go. Just because for the fluff of it, yes traits stack, okay, thanks. Medicine cabinet, another refectory, well I won't put it down yet, but alchemy room. Hmm, we are so strong in alchemy things in this, uh, in this, uh, scenario here. 
So the house Alvazak should definitely focus into alchemy things. So we're going to generate some nature, nature mana. Come on. Oh, dang it. Well, we're going to take this one then. Some prestige generation. So we get a shadow room instead. Why not? <laughs> With the worst teachers ever. Researcher. Okay, let's put up the Ancient Wisdom one. Well, there's so many opportunities to buff up your teachers, so... Shouldn't be too much of an issue there. This game is really hard for me to put away, gotta, gotta be honest. I kept playing it for a lot, uh, for a long time now, the last few days. So, let's put up... Uh, A few good students into these houses here. Chosen by the light. Oh, I'll take the specialized room, thank you. So, Chamber of Truth. Since I don't have any light schooling things yet, this is actually really good. And we're going to take the Elementalist Dojo here to have our, uh, access to Arcane Magic too. Ancient Wisdom and Job Lover, why not? So here goes the Rune Scriptorium. So we have Inspiring Teachers. Oh, we get a, we get a free janitor, awesome. Well, it's not exactly free, but you know what I'm saying. So, guinea pig, guinea pig, where do you want to go? Well... Hard to tell, you know. Let's befriend the peasants first. Oh, I, I didn't come with the nature mana. Arf! Oh, hi there, guys. We Jinns are the greatest and strongest spellcasters there are and ever will be. Okay. Meet us at the Sand Altar. Will do, buddy. Jack of all trades, chosen by the light. Okay. Well, I don't want to put up the other refectory yet, because I think it's too early for that. Guild Banner, yes please. So, yet another refectory? Yeah, well, why not? I mean, our students are hungry students after all, you know. Arcane Scholar and Chosen by the Light. We can't do both, though. Arcane mana generation, crystal ball. Oh yeah, the crystal ball is so good. Teachers can lose negative traits here. So we all we need is now a room where teachers can chill. Do I already have one? I don't think I do. So wish altar. What can we do for you guys? Alchemical mana. So 750 arcane alchemical or nature mana, I get it. So, comical worker, well behaved, chosen by the light, chosen by the light, okay. Mentor, there we go. Where did we have that horrible teacher? In the shadow room, right? Yeah. Here we go. So, what do we do here? Clockmakers, craftsmen, or shepherds? 
I'm going to pick up the Craftsman quest because I feel like that's going to be the easiest among these. That sounds really easy, actually. Okay. Chamber of Truth. Seriously, only a another Chamber of Truth? Dang. So, Wizard of the Horde. Well, this is a very easy way to do it, but we tank a lot of... Uh, yeah, what, well, but I'm still going to do it. And we're going to be an alchemy specialist again, because, I mean, I generate alchemy mana like crazy already, so... That should be the easiest way to do it. Shadow mana. Give me the demonic chamber. Thank you. Orphan. Well, Arcane Scholar, Brilliant Students, I'm getting really good stuff here, good material to work with. Party time with the Orcs. Well, let's take the all-in-one cauldron. I'd upgrade the first refectory and don't place a second until the first gets full regularly. Yeah, I'll I'm not even upgrading the one, Joshi, because I feel like the this the normal one should be already enough. I mean, well, okay, they are quite hungry though. We can't put up a second one already. The upgrade is only a 10% efficiency upgrade, whereas building a, another one gives you an entirely new room working for you. They're just not that... I wish they would be uh, further away from each other, you know. So... Oh, pets! So, teachers... Witch's cat. Well, let's pick the witch's cat. It's only it's only to one room, but whatever. Oh, finally, here is chapel or a medical bed. Uh, let's, let's take the medical bed. Light magic ain't that important for my for my school. Deep folk. Alchemy. Chosen by the Light, Shadow Disciple, Jack of all Traits. So, another brilliant Deep Folk. So we're going to put up the second refectory up there. I'm going to build my school from there. <laughs> a little bit of a weird thing, but sometimes you have to do weird things to make things work. Ex-Adventurer. Well, let's do that. Hey orcs, I'm betting on your weak nephew. And it's time for me to say goodnight for today. It's been a wonderful and awesome time with you guys, but I'm quite tired and it's already... Oh no, I wanted to have the second dormitory. Ah, oh, whatever. <laughs> we're going to get there soon. So we're going to have more of that tomorrow. I don't know. There's a slight possibility from my side that I'm going to stream more of this tomorrow. I'm quite hooked up, as you as you might be have noticed. Not sure where we're going to be with the stream tomorrow. If you have any wishes, just feel free to drop them into my Discord and uh, let me know what you would want to have. Beyond that, thanks for the good company and good night, you all. Bye bye.